Good evening, everybody. Here is my uh, list of stocks that I'll be watching and trading for September 27th. Okay, so uh, let's get on with it. A uh, few good plays that I'll be watching mainly for tomorrow. First up, we have MU. Let's load up some drawings real quick. MU. MU had an earnings reaction after hours, and uh, basically they beat on Q4 earnings. Uh, their guidance was um, was pretty in line. However, uh, the stock tanked still. So uh, I'm going to look for, I mean, there's two different things that I will be looking for, right? Uh, I'll be looking for either a gap fill back up or a break of a significant support level and come down. So uh, let's talk about the gap fill first. Okay, so in order to gap fill, uh, we have to see a stock reclaim a significant level and then uh, come right back up. So that would be, uh, to me, as far as resistance go, uh, the 45, 50 area right now in after hours is pretty key. As you can see here, uh, after hours in the five minute chart, this is uh, basically the holding spot. So uh, in order for me to uh, like to like the stock to go back up uh, or get long, I would like to see it reclaim this 4550 area and hold. Um, coming down over here, we have a major support area at the $45 mark as well as uh, the 4475 area. So this is the after hours lows coming over here on uh, the daily chart. We have 45 right here, key psychological hold number as well. You see that it uh, reacted pretty well. And then the next level down here, we have uh, the 44 bucks. Okay, so I ma marked off 44, the whole number here as the next area of support. Um, coming up here, uh, as far as resistance go, we have 46 and 46.40 as well. So uh, knowing that this was uh, traded on uh, an earnings catalyst, so uh, tomorrow I am expecting a lot of volume coming in. Uh, it has sold off a lot. And um, I personally like to be leaning more towards the fill the gap type of play just because it's sold a lot. So it has filled this gap over here on the daily chart and filled this gap. So how, how much further can it go? Now, mind you, if 45 lets go, then we have another dollar, another dollar to the downside, but we have a lot of support down here. So uh, I, I am leaning more towards the long side, to be quite honest. So in the pre-market, we'll see. I want to see it hold uh, above some of these uh, support levels and uh, grind back up because it has sold off a lot. So that's my plan on MU. Um, SQ is next. SQ is more of a second day play. Uh, today it ran pretty well due to an analyst upgrade. Wells Fargo upgraded it. And uh, what we see here is a gap up and held above a key uh, prior resistance area. Uh, MU's, uh, sorry, SQ is very interesting. I mean, it form this, it's forming this uh, wedge pattern right here on, um, on the 30 minute chart, okay? And uh, tomorrow for second day play, I am looking for uh, long to break out of 61.16 or 61.15, which is the high of today. I'm looking for a dip and hold. The stock in itself closed um, above 20, uh, at the top range, uh, top 25% of its range on the day. And uh, I do like to see this to continue to go strong. Uh, however, we are, going to see a dip at the open for the profit takers in my opinion uh it depends right we don't know if this is going to gap up or gap down uh we only know that we have resistance at the high of day and uh what i want to see is this inflection point the 60 dollars and 74 mark uh if it holds above it then uh it's along uh all the way to 62 next is uh my plan here and uh, coming over here on daily chart 62, we have a lot of resistance up here. Okay, so uh, around the 62 area and it'll probably get stuff back. Uh, it is a little overextended to the upside though. So um, if it gaps up and, uh, and fail, then uh, we could see it coming back down to the $60 level. So that's what I'm looking for. Ultimately, this 59.35, this is kind of like the first print 
of the gap up. So I marked it off here because it's, um, to me, I think it's significant because this is kind of like where, uh, where the analysts and the catalysts happen, right? So uh, with a relative volume of 1.82 today and an average true range of 2.31, I still think this has room to uh, play for tomorrow. It's in play because of its volume. Um, up or down, don't know yet. I'm leaning more to the upside, so we'll see. Uh, just because the way it closed so strong, so uh, we'll see. I mean, here, late day, we see that it kind of uh, dipped down, held, dipped down, held, and then after hours, it just uh, held above its uh, closing price. So uh, I do like that. Peloton, P-T-O-N, traded this very well today. Also made a video recap of it. So let's load up some drawings. Peloton, a failed IPO, uh, just using a 30 minute chart. We have uh, the opening price at 27. We have the IPO pricing at 29. We have the high of day at 28, okay? Uh, the stock closed uh, above 25. It came down under 25 real quick and got reclaimed at the end. Um, now, 25 is a key psychological hole number as well as it tested um, right here uh, on today's dump. So uh, I want to see uh, the 25 hole to get long. Um, and other, another factor that I would long is I want to see it reclaim 2625, which is basically this morning when an IPO, this is a major support area that is snapped. So I'm wondering if it can get back above 2625 and if it could hold above here, I don't mind the long back up to uh, try to test the high of day. Otherwise, um, I'm still leaning towards the short side, looking for a pop and drop. Okay, so that's Peloton. Uh, on the side watch, I'll be watching Roku. Roku is, is trading in a trend. Uh, sorry, it's trading in a range right now. So I want to mark off the low of uh, actually this low. Okay, so around the 104, is it 104? Uh, the 103.5, 104 area. Okay, so right around here. You know what, let's get it up to 104.40. Right around here, you see 104.40 uh, traded very well today around this area. Uh, it's coming down a little bit. Uh, I want to see. The only way I want along this is that if it can uh, reclaim 104.50. And if it can hold that, then uh, I'll, I like the long on that. Uh, we see that 100 has been testing. And uh, the way the stock closed, it closed pretty weak. So I do anticipate to retest 100 again. And if 100 do snap, we might get another massive day tomorrow, but it is overextended to the downside. It's uh, pretty far away from its moving averages. So I think it'll have a few more days, more like a range day tomorrow. But this uh, 104.50 area, very key. It's also the 50, um, 50 MA here on the 30 minute chart. So just looking at that, it keeps trying to bounce, but then it got stuff, right? Uh, there's a trend line that we can actually map off on the 30 minute chart here. So this trend line makes this uh, a descending triangle and a wedge, right? So uh, we are seeing kind of like the bouncing ball going uh, up and down right now. And we have a little wedge here. So expecting uh, more of a range type of play tomorrow and it's still trading within this wedge. So uh, just gonna keep this on the side watch and we'll see. Okay, uh, I don't expect it to get back above 106 and hold though. So uh, looking for 104.50, 104.60 to reject it. To, that'll interest me to get short. Facebook, uh, kind of like the same thing as Roku. Um, we see the 178 holding as a key support right now. It's essentially, it looks like a double bottom. So let's map off 178 right here. And uh, it is a key key area here as there was a lot of volume done here uh, around this 178 as you can see on the daily chart. Um, late day bounce, it closed literally in the middle of everything. So uh, I, I really don't know, but it's a good watch because there's good volume in it and it's got good range. Um, what would get me interested in long this? 
if it can reclaim 18050 this area right here if it can reclaim this and stay above then i don't mind the long uh, however we'll we'll have to see i want to see it the the only trade i want to see is uh that it holds above 18050 and i want to long back up or uh if it uh, stays under 18850 i want to short and retest this 178 area so that's uh, my watch list for tomorrow um nothing too serious for tomorrow it is friday so um i'll see you guys bright and early for tomorrow thanks